Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunderous Lure Company, and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I am boatless today, folks, but hopefully not fishless. And you know what? That's the beauty of boatless angling. There's a lot of opportunity. Let me get my line in the water. Okay, I'm gonna use the pitching technique. Just toss my line out there just a bit. I'll explain the rig and what we're fishing for today. Today, folks, we're fishing for carp. And I'm gonna run corn. I brought some uh, carp bait pockets with me, but I'm gonna run straight corn first. And if I see that I'm losing the corn to sunfish or catfish or other small fish, I'll put it in a bait pocket, which will help me. But uh, I'm running the sliding sinker rig. I'm gonna put my line down here. Okay. So I've got a Thundermist sliding sinker rig on there right now. And uh, I've got a single swivel tied on and that acts as a stop to my uh, sliding rig. So I've also got uh, a nice size two hook on there which I've loaded up with corn. So I put as much corn on there as I possibly could to cover the hook and also to put a lot of bait on there. So I've cast it out there. All I'm using today is corn, which I have up here. Okay, I'm just using corn. This is just frozen corn that I got at the grocery store, that's all and they're nice kernels and I'm gonna throw just a little bit of corn to where I where I cast it okay and that'll act as a little bit of chum so if the, the carp come around they find the chum and then hopefully they'll find my bait and you notice I've got a very loose I've got a loose line here so it's not it's not tight to my rod because there's no current here or anything so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna watch my line and it's got a bow in it. And then as I see my line starting to twitch and tighten, that's when I'm gonna set the hook. So it's called the loose line method. Very, very effective for carp, especially under conditions like this where it's very, very calm. So my line is in, my line is loose. Let's check it here. Perfect. They'll be able to pick up that bait. They'll be undetected. I'll watch my line and set the hook. So glad you could join me, folks. Stay tuned. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. We got to pick up, folks. Now I got to be careful. Weeds, cement abutments. Oh, boy. I can't tell how big he is. Oh, he's heading for the weeds. See, I got to keep him out of there. If he buries in there, I'll lose him. Okay, good. He's out. Nice. Okay. That was a nice bite. I love it. Oh yeah, it's a nice carp. It's not a huge one, but it's a it's a good carp. It's a good carp. Oh yeah. Okay. Even a carp like that gave me a good run. Okay. Well, oh yeah, he's not quite. Done. He's not done yet. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This is just great fishing. What can I tell you? It's just so much fun. Okay, he's coming in. He sees the net. And look at him run. He's in the net. He is in the bag. Okay, I'm going to kind of leave him right there. I brought a mat with me, but I think I'll leave him right there. I'll grab a quick photo and then we're going to let this guy go. There we go. You know what? That's a great start right there. Isn't that a nice start? Beautiful carp. Nice coloration. Not too big, but gave me a decent fight. And there's a nice little release right there. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay. Now, I get my rig back. My sliding rig. And what we're gonna do is get our line loaded back up again with some corn. Now we're gonna get right back out again. Oh, he actually bent my hook a little bit, even that small carp. There we go. Hook's back in action. Let's get it loaded up and right back in the water again. We just picked up another one, folks. What a pickup. That loose line detection, I tell you, you can just see your line starting to go. And as soon as you see that line moving, don't hesitate. Oh, he's peeling. Set the hook right away because they've got it and they're, they're running with it. So it's not like fishing with, with minnows or worms 
Oh boy. You know, you want to set the hook right away. That's the key. Okay. He's still really, really green. This one doesn't look that big either, but you know what? They're all fun. They are all fun. Oh yeah. This is where you lose a lot of carp, right here, close to shore. He's still really, really green, like I said. It's a smaller fish. Oh, that might even be a rud. Let's get him in here and take a look at him. Okay. There he is in the bag. It's just a little carp. There are the rut ruds are here. They're a little more colorful, uh, but they're about that size. But that one happens to be a carp. We're going to leave him right in the water, take the hook out, and do a release. He was just hooked just inside the mouth. Okay. Look at the coloration on this fish. Hey, okay. oh. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get a look at them before we release them. But look at the nice coloration on the fins. Nice orangey, kind of red kind of color on them. Isn't that nice? That's a beautiful carp. He's not a huge one, but that's a really, really nice carp. Okay, we're going to let you go, buddy. See you later. <laughs> okay, this is, I'll tell you what, folks, this is a lot of fun. Boatless angling. That's the beauty. Fishing in North America. There are all kinds of opportunities for the boatless angler. The key is you just got to get out there and get a line wet. Find a shoreline and have some fun. That's what I'm doing today. I'm just going to enjoy the day out here. The bite is on and it's going to be a great day. I want to thank you ever so much for joining me on today's episode of Thundermous Fishing Tips. As always folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Time to rebate and get back out there again.